Chip's recycling an old oil drum to make a portable wood stove he can use for warmth during the brutal cold months ahead. There you go. It's really important that you be able to do it for yourself up here. There's no point in me trying to earn money to get myself a new stove when I could just make one. So right here I've got my doorway. If you ain't got something and you want it, you gotta make it yourself or do without. All the materials are coming right off this drum. I'm folding the edges of the door so nobody gets cut when we're using this thing and so that when it's in my sled and I pack stuff, it's not gonna slice my gear up. This is no place to do things half-assed. Nope. This piece I'm putting on right now is um, the door hatch. So this will let the door open and close. It's stiff enough. It'll stay up when you open the door. All right, more like that. Probably that way. Open up, close, latch. Put your wood in. Over here, you got a big enough area for a frying pan. Right there, you got a big enough area for a coffee pot. Right there, go right out the stove. And I think I got a drum with a piece of caribou. Now I have a stove. And what sets this stove apart from others is if you live in a tent and you plan on being mobile, you don't want to carry the ashes with you. You don't want to. You want to make everything as light as possible. Possessions are a burden when you live out of a snow machine and a sled. So, when we're done, we take our pipes off. We'll make them be able to fit inside of this. We'll probably have three of them. They'll fit inside there. Then, when we're done and we're getting on, we leave the ashes behind. It's very light. 